Numbers 12 to 24, please. Looking good, Franny. Do you like them? Bad for the feet. Good for the mind. <laughs> hey, listen, I spoke to Nick. He said he could sort out that thermostat for you. Saturday. Uh, no, I can't on Saturday because Matt's got his football tournament. I told you, I need the car this week. Oh, shit. All right, well, I'll ring him. You just be careful you don't overheat. Oh, well, I can't guarantee that. So how did Matt do in his mocks? Have you heard anything yet? Yeah, he got um, maths and English, he got A's, B in history, and we find out about physics on Thursday. I'm proud of him. I'd tell him himself if I saw him. Mm. Oh, before I forget, I've got you. enough. Come on. Bailiff's trying to take me out, a brief who's lost his tongue, and a best mate who's doing a bunk. As you announced a whole street, Franny. Very discreet. Why didn't you just give out their address in Dubai? But I didn't know what was going on. I still don't. This confiscation order, it started something. Now you told me you paid it. You said to me, ignore the letters, all sorted. Yeah, it was. It was running to plan. They made a confiscation order. We said we can't pay. Bit illegal tap dancing. So what went wrong? They started to lose patience. So we arranged to sell some of the assets in Spain. Cover the cost, but it didn't go through. Why not? Spanish authorities. They got suspicious, moved in, seized the business. All the income, rental from the villas, is all frozen. Can't access any of it. We're in the shit, Franny. So don't, don't call anyone. Adrian Associates. You gotta keep your head down because the sky's falling in. I don't know what to do. Can't he? So why didn't you warn me? You know, give me a chance to sort things out. Franny, it's business. Yeah, I know. I mean, how you like to keep things separate, but you haven't. I am the one left with the mess. I can't take any money out of the bank. I've got ten pounds fifty left in my purse. That's all I've got. It'll be all right. I'll find a way. Come on, Fran. They want the house. They're coming back with an eviction note. Jesus, are you not listening? If I could do something, I would. Oh, no, you can't have it both ways. You're telling me that you will fix things, and then you're telling me that you can't. Let me at least try. I mean, there must be something I can do, someone I can talk to. Let me in. Talk to your dad. See if he can help you. <gasps> Build a bridge. Nothing's changed, Franny. I'll take care of business. You've just got to sit tight. Do as you're told. Leave your message after the turn. Hi, it's me. Um, we've emptied all the cupboards, eaten all the party food. I'm full of crisps and I'm tired and I'm pissed and... I'm scared, Paul. I'm 
I don't know what to do. And the kids, they still think you can fix it, but you can't, and I don't have the answers, and... Press one to delete, press two to save, press three to re-record. You know what gets me? You shut me out and you treat me like I'm an idiot, but I'm not. I can do things. I'm actually a very strong, independent and capable shit. Now you're not gonna like this, you're gonna go ballistic, but everything's changed and I can't. I, w I won't sit in an empty house doing nothing because that's the scariest thing. So what do you say then? Your old man when you rang him. Or did you go round? Friend? I didn't go to Dad's. I, uh... I got a job. Went to a recruitment agency and I told him I needed something straight away. So, uh, yeah, I started last night. Cleaner. Well, they call it a domestic operative, but that's what it is. So, yeah, I'm cleaning the bathrooms and the wards at the Ranmore. What were you thinking of telling me? I'll tell you now. Well, you didn't think we should talk about it? You didn't think I'd have a view? Or? Oh, yeah, I need a view. Uh -huh. I need have exactly this view. But don't need to worry, don't need to be embarrassed, because nobody will know about it. And it's just a little job. I told you to sit tight. What, in the dark? Going hungry? Well, I can't sit at home doing nothing. I've got no money, no credit. I can't go shopping. Matt is having an epi about that skiing trip. What skiing trip? What are you talking about? So this, uh, this job, who are you working with? What sort of people? Just a load of Asian ladies. Any blogs? Don't do this. When am I going to be able to ring you? Hey, what are the hours? How do I know when I can get in touch with you? Well, it's night shift, so you can call me during the day. Well, you work at night? Yeah. You know, what is it, Paul? Is it that I'm cleaning or is it that I'm working or is it just because I didn't run it past you? You know what would be nice here? How about a little well done, Franny? Well done for rolling up your sleeves. Well done for trying to bail us out of this mess. I told you. Me hands are tied. Yeah, well, mine aren't. And I cannot afford your ego. You know, I enjoyed it. Last night. I was dreading it, but I ended up having a laugh. The more fun cleaning shit off the floor for money than I've had in years. What's that say about my life? Ladies and gentlemen, sounds all. Thanks. Thanks for coming. I'll see you next week.
but it was also fun, you know? That feeling you get inside when you know you're breaking the rules, the, the moths. Butterflies, sir. Those as well. See you soon. Franny. It's Lauren. Lauren? Your daughter. Sorry, it's just... I was expecting your mum. Are you all right? Uh, what are you up to? Nothing. Playing with pebbles. Pebbles? Don't tell me she's climbing up curtain again. <laughs> she's not a kitten anymore. No. Of course she's not. So, uh... How's your brother? It's all right. Is it as husky as? It's husky. That's girlfriend, yeah? Yeah. You want to put your mum on? I can't. Not here. What do you mean she's not there? She's gone out. Where? I don't know. Well, you must know where she's gone. Didn't she tell you? Oh, yeah. She's... She went out for lunch or something. Someone from work. Right. I'll speak to you later. He tries to do the best for us, but it's hard for him too. Stuck in there, powerless. It's all out of his control. He can't show how much he loves us. He could barely move. Teach him to touch my wife then, won't he? He had nothing to do with it. He was just a bystander in our mess. Try saying that with his cock in your mouth. I didn't do anything. I didn't sleep with him. But you wanted to. Yeah, of course I did, because I've not been touched in six years. Nothing happened. You can dress it up all you want. You still cheated. Yeah, and you still got someone beaten up just so that you could feel better about yourself. I feel fine. That's not who you are. That's not the man I married. He goes and it all turns to shit. Oh, this has nothing to do with the money. I wish it was, because then we could fix it. What? 
Well, so this is it. You just chuck it away. 18 years of marriage. What, you call two hours a week a marriage? Do you know, every conversation, every minute I've had with you in the last six years, we've had a table between us. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the small talk and, and, the, and the crisps and, and you sat there smelling of cheap links like some teenager on a date. think you are, Franny? I don't know. I'm just, uh, someone who shops and cleans and waits in for phone calls and someone whose life is getting smaller and smaller every day. Someone who visits her husband week after week, year after year, and has absolutely nothing left to say. <laughs> <laughs>